Hello my classy, classy people. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your Speed King, of course. Welcome to a great week of racing coming up at Belmont Park. And as always, please turn on your clothes captured. And of course, our tip sheets are available for Friday Eve for the uh, Belmont Stakes and of course Saturday. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're $20 per day. Uh, full analysis of the full races. Nice races on Friday. Beautiful, beautiful races on Saturday. We're here to take a look at uh, the Manhattan Stakes race on Saturday. Uh, of course at Belmont. Very nice turf race. It is race number 10, the race right before the Belmont Stakes. Grade 1 Manhattan Stakes, a mile and a quarter, four-year-olds and up. For seven hundred and fifty thousand, <laughs> it is a nice fill. It is a tough fill. So let's run through these fairly quick. Um, you should be able to find your plate of flavor and your price in the Manhattan race number ten. Well, La Imperator. Well, La Imperator obviously is trained by Chad Brown, who has four in here. What else is new? Chad is circling the wagons as always. And by the way, look at my Zandon shirt. Thanks to Big Sunday Phil for my Zandon shirt. And by the way, El Imperator, the number one horse, is 15 to 1 on the morning line. Where do you get Chad Brown at 15 to 1? Well, to me, La Imperator is a little bit overmatched in here, but listen to a record. The record is uh, six wins from 12 starts. I mean, that is just fantastic on a horse that's trained by Chad Brown. Six wins, 12 starts. Wow. And two-thirds. Eric Kunsell is in the arms. The speed figure that this horse ran last time is just phenomenal. In the Fort Marcy Stakes, grade two, went gate to wire. How can this horse be 15-1? to one? La Imperator from the rail. Eric Kunsell was up that day. He's up this day. Wow, six wins from 12 starts, and the horse is 15-1. to one. Man, and it's Chad Brown. Well, Law and Power Tour won't be one of my top picks in here, but you should use them off uh, underneath. Well, Goofo, everybody knows Goofo. Got beat by Highland Chief last time. Eight wins from 16 starts. Wow, what a great record that is. Trained by Christopher Clement. The horse is by Declaration of war and it's three to one on the morning line and that is right this is a very very nice horse like most of these are in here I mean you can make a case for all ten of these horses in this race that's how good this race is and it is tough but Goofo don't need no introduction by me like I said Joel Rosario is in the arms it's Christopher Clement the horse has won 1.4 million dollars and has won eight of sixteen uh, Goofo will be my first or second pick in here for sure. The number three, Tokyo Gold. Well, the old Gold horse looks a bit overmatched. Nice horse in their own right. But the number three, Tokyo Gold, two, uh, three wins from 11 starts and looks overmatched. We're going to throw the number three at 30 to 1 off the ticket. Well, Adamo, the old Adamo horse, four wins from 13 starts. That's not horrible. Chad Brown, this is his second one in here. And it's only four to one on the morning line. Well, I mean, I guess this horse could run. Uh, was beaten by Santin, the horse down there, the number nine horse, who's a nice horse in his own right. But I don't like this number four horse by Chad Brown. Uh, Adamo. I just don't like him. The speed figures are okay. Like I said, the number nine, Santon, beat him last time in the Turf Classic over there at Churchill Downs. But you can't never put anything by Chad Brown at four to one. Seems a little underlay in a field like this with so many top, top turf horses. I'm going to throw that Chad Brown off the ticket, the number four, Adamo. Well, the number five horse, in love. Well, in love has five wins from 15 starts. That's a third. You can't shake a stick at that. Lobo is our trainer of record. And the speed figures are cut below here. I mean, this is a big boys here. But I tell you right now, in love has always, always run with grade one company. We all know this horse was uh, in the Breeders' Cup Turf Mile. The one that Space Blues won back there in 2021. And now made... Uh, 
a six-year-old debut. Speed figures are okay. I don't like In Love in the win spot in here at 15-1. to 1. Maybe underneath, but not for me. Well, 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 the third Chad Brown and the horse that I'm absolutely head over heels in, about. Always loved this horse. Hasn't won the way that I thought that he would. Rock Emperor. Rock Emperor, the number six, is 10 to 1. That's what I said. Can you believe this horse is 10 to 1? Rock Emperor. Four wins only from 23 starts. Five seconds uh, six thirds for nine hundred thousand, almost a million in earnings. Irad Ortiz is up. Uh, again, this horse made a six-year-old debut on the seventh of May at Belmont in the Fort Marcy Stakes. Now here's the problem: the horse finished fifth by thirty-seven in the field of seven. And you know what the problem was in the return race on May seventh at Belmont? It was a yielding track. This horse do not like. Good tracks, soft tracks. This horse has to have a firm footing. I bet this horse a lot. I like Rock Emperor. If it's firm on Saturday, then this horse is going to really be, you know, in my opinion, um, heck on wheels, for lack of better words. But Rock Emperor to me is 10 to 1 on the morning line. I mean, Chad Brown's horse is in here. Law and Power Tour, the 1 is 15 to 1, and the 6 Rock Emperor is 10 to 1. Well, Rock Emperor is going to be my top pick in here for sure. At 10 to 1, I just hope it's firm and not soft or yielding for sure. And number 6, our top pick. Number 7, Tribuven. Tribuven's a nice horse. Five wins from 22 starts. You can't shake no stick at that. I mean, this is the fourth Chad Brown horse in here, and this horse is 8 to 1. Wow, Tribuven, 8 to 1. Beautiful, beautiful speed figures on this horse. Uh, last time off of a 182-day layoff out of the Turf Classic at Churchill. The one that Santon won, the number 9 in here. The horse was 7-1. to one. Manny Frankel was up then. Manny Frankel is up now. Again, this is the fourth Chad Brown in here. And not that I don't like him, but it's not going to be my top one of my top picks of my top three. So of the four Chad Browns, I like Rock, Rock, Rock Emperor the most, the number six. So the number seven, I'm going to throw Tribuven off the ticket in the wind hole. And here's another one that I think has a chance to run very well. Highlands Chief has three wins from 12 starts. A little light on experience, but again, the horse loves the turf and has a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. And you know how much I like Gufo, but again, Gufo, but again, Highland Chief beat Gufo May 14th right here at Belmont. He was 15 to 1. I don't know if he got lucky or not, but they are loading him up with four or five extra pounds for winning that grade one man of war stakes, beating Gufo by one length last time. I think Gufo, the number two, will surely turn the tables on Highland Chief, who's 8 to 1 in this spot. Well, Santin, Santin, Santin's another, another nice horse. Brendan Walsh is our trainer of record, and it is Godolphin and Godolphin, the silky, silky blue. Number nine, Santin, three wins from six starts. Let me see y'all shake a stick at that. You can't. Two seconds. This Kentucky bread is by Distorted Human, and uh, on the back end by Medaglia Dora, and again, bread known by the one and only Godolphin. That's right. The corporation. And of course, Brendan Walsh, and you have that smooth, smooth rider, Tyler Gaffney on. And of course, Santine or Santin is going to be one of my top three picks in here for sure. Only seven to two, but there's no way will I leave this horse, a Godolphin horse, with Brendan Walsh doing all the button pushing in the trainer's booth. No a chance. I like this horse underneath as my third choice, probably. Well, the number 10 horse here is an oldie but goodie. I mean, what can we do other than bow down to the number 10 horse, Channel Maker? It's trained by my guy, the classy, classy Billy Mott. And again, every time we turn our head, this horse just continues to show up. 44 starts, 8 wins, 6 seconds, and 5 thirds for $3.6 million. Boy, Channel Maker don't owe anybody anything. This English channel, uh, channel uh, gelding has, uh, at 8 years old, has done his business. Ontario bred 
And again, Louis Saez is in the yard. The horse won the Elkhorn Stakes uh, grade two on April 23rd, some 49 days ago. So the horse has been freshened. And again, making the second start as an old uh, uh, eight year old. Speed figures are a cut below, but I put nothing as channel maker now i'm going to have channel maker probably as my fourth pick in here for sure so there is your manhattan grade one steak race i'm going to tell you all flat out right now i love chad brown's horse rock emperor but i always like rock emperor and 10 to 1 i just cannot believe this horse is 10 to 1 but the whole key to the me picking Rock Emperor is that this horse has firm footing. I really hope it don't rain. If this thing comes up yielding or soft, then all bets are off on the number six Rock Emperor. If this is firm at 10 to 1, Rock Emperor is the bet for me, for sure. My second pick in here is going to be the number two horse, Christopher Clement and Joel Rosario with Gufo, right? I love this horse. I think he will turn the tables on Highland Chief, who beat him last time. That's our second pick. And our third pick here is Santine. That's right. That's the Godolphin runner, for sure. We like uh, that horse, obviously, as our third pick. And obviously a win contender. Any of our th top three picks are win contender horses. And a fourth pick in here because the field is so tough. We have to put the old man in. Who? The number 10 channel maker. So there it is in the Manhattan. Grade 1. 750,000. One mile and a quarter. They're giving me 10 to 1 on Mr. Chad Brown. Right? Who has four in this race. The old rock emperor. We need it to be firm. Don't let it be good. Don't let it be yielding. Don't let it be soft. Has to be firm. If it's not firm, don't bet Rock Emperor. That horse don't like that, 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 that type of ground for sure. So we like the number six, providing that it's firm. With the under with the number two, our second pick, and the number nine, Santine, as our third pick, and we're gonna throw the old men in, Mr. Channel Maker. He doesn't do nothing but handle his business. So six, two, nine, ten, for your speed king in the Manhattan. Talk to y'all real soon. Let me know what you think.